Hi, this is Aaron at ThinkBot Labs, and welcome back. By now you should have created all your animations based off all the sprites. And in those animations we have dead, idle, jump, jump melee, jump shoot, melee, run, shoot, run and shoot, and slide. So the first thing we need to do is go back to our robot and go back to our sprites. And we're going to grab the idle sprite and put it in the sprite render sprite. This is so we can see them in the scene. Next thing we need to do is set up some tiles for the robot to walk on. I went ahead and create a folder under the sprites called environment and I imported the tile set that we downloaded in the last video. So go to the tiles and let's grab some tiles and these are just placeholders for him to walk on for now. So go ahead and duplicate this and let's make a little platform for him to stand on. Go ahead and select all the tiles and we're going to add a component, a box collider 2D. Let's go back to our robot and let's add a box collider 2D to our robot. And select it and it'll highlight it. Let's shrink it down. Let's bring it up a little bit. Shrink it on the X. Let's move it over just a tad. And then let's go ahead and add a circle collider 2D. And we're going to add this to his feet. Let's shrink that box down just a little bit. All right, perfect. We also need to go in and add a rigid body 2D. And this is his physics. Change the interpolate to interpolate and freeze the rotation on the Z axis so he doesn't, that way he doesn't topple over. So let's go ahead and play. And he lands on our platform. Perfect. All right, so he's got a little idle animation. So before we even mess with any of the animations, let's go ahead and minimize all this. And we are going to create a script for his controller. So add a component, new script, C sharp, and let's call this robot controller. This is what we're going to use to move the character around and then eventually um, play the animations. Okay, let's go ahead and edit the script. Let's open that up. All right. Go ahead and delete this out for now. I always start clean. It doesn't matter if I need them or not. So start off, we need to see how fast the robot can move. This we're going to use a public float um, top speed. And we'll set this to 10. And we also need to say, we need to be able to tell the sprite which uh, way it's facing. So tell the okay and this is going to be that boo bull facing all right and our fixed update We 
reason fixed update because we are going to be manipulating uh, the physics. Okay. First, we need to get the move direction. So. Float move equals input dot get axis horizontal. Then we need to add velocity to the rigid body in the move direction times our speed. And we do that by get component rigid body 2D dot velocity equals new vector 2 move times top speed comma get component rigid body 2D dot velocity dot y. All right, so we need a, another function to flip the sprite. If he's facing the opposite direction. So Facing right does not equal facing right. We're going to get the local scale. That's going to be a vector 3 transform dot local scale. Then we are going to flip on the uh, on the x-axis the scale dot x times equal negative one and then we need to reapply um, that to the local scale transform dot local scale equals the scale so back in our fixed update let me say if we're uh, facing the uh, negative direction and not facing right, um, go ahead and flip. So we'll say if move is greater than zero and not facing right, Um, else if the move is less than zero and we are facing right flip okay that looks good let's go ahead and save it and go back to our scene all right see that our character controller has a top speed now let's go ahead and play it and we can move the character left and right and we see that the character is flipping great but we're we don't have any animations we have the the default one that's just on the sprite render but nothing is actually um, animating it for transitions let's go ahead and go to our animator and so that's either window animator or i have my tab already open and let's create some transitions so the default one is an orange and let's go to our animations robot and we're going to go from idle to run. So let's select idle, right click, make transition to run and then from run make transition back to idle. And with the parameters, give it plus, say float, we're going to call it speed. And we're going to say that if our speed condition 
is greater than 0 0.1, we're going to run. And the opposite transition, we're going to say if that condition speed is less than 0 0.1, we're going to go back to idle. So let's go back to our script. First we need to get a reference to the animator. It's going to be uh, animator m. And on our start, we need to initialize this. Animator equals get component animator. Okay. In our fixed update, right after we get the input to move horizontal, and after we tell the uh, rigid body to move in a direction, we'll say animator dot set float speed mathf uh, dot absolute move. Okay, and so what this line of code is doing is we're telling our attached animator, our character animator, to set a float to speed based on the amount moved. So our speed is the float value right here, which we're using to transition in between states. And that should be it. Let's go ahead and save that and go back and then play it. All right, now he's running. Sweet. All right, this video is starting to get kind of long, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up.